especially after we got out to an early lead. They came back and cut it to four early in the second half, so it, it was a battle. Yeah, you know, it's exactly what we talked about in the pregame show that, uh, you know, they, you know, Rick, Rick does a great job with his kids. They play hard. They weren't going to go away. That was my message at halftime. They're not going anywhere. And, uh, you know, we weren't real sharp, but we were sharp enough. And uh, I thought we had much better energy in the second half. And we went down the floor and pressured them a little bit. I thought that that, that gave them a different look and took them out of some of their execution. And, uh, and our intensity defensively was better. We got our transition going off their missed shots. And, and uh, you know, we, we, we wore them down on the boards. I, you know, I, we, I think we had 21 offensive rebounds. And, you know, those were some of the keys. They really were, Coach. And, and, again, you got some good play off the bench. I know you went to the bench early. A lot of guys got playing time here. Uh, so uh, those guys contributed off the bench as well. People uh, coming off the bench, especially like Elijah with 13 points today, just a solid effort. Well, our, our, we mentioned, you know, our, our second group uh, was really getting improving. And, you know, I, these kind of games, you want, you want an opportunity to play a lot of people. And, uh I want to find out a little bit more what they can do. I want them to have a little game experience. It's going to help us down the road, I think. So, you know, those were some of the things that we, we went into the game. That was our game plan, that we were going to play play a lot of people. So, uh, and, you know, we stayed right with it. And uh, sec I, I sub groups of five because that's the way we've been practicing uh, those groups together, and it's been pretty effective in practice. So thought we'd give it a look in a game. I'm not sure we'll stay with it. We didn't do that in the second half, but – but it was pretty good for us. Mike Brown, I thought, had a big second half, too. I thought he really got involved. Uh, his strength, uh, we, we had some mismatches with him, and, you know, he got it to the basket. He hit, he hit a couple shots. Red Harrelson hit some big shots for us in the second half. Uh, our postman, uh, Torian wasn't real efficient, but, you know, he was a load for him down low and could pretty well do what he wanted. And uh, he'd been a little bit sharper mentally, not that he wasn't, he just wasn't super sharp, but he was okay. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad day. Almost a double-double, 12 points and nine rebounds for Torian inside. And, again, uh, he, he is a powerful player, Coach. Real strong. Yeah, he's a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a man. And, uh, uh, you know, he, they, had, they had a tough matchup with him. I thought Mark Goslin gave us good energy on the board, some pretty good defense. Uh, he had the, the assignment of guarding their best offensive player, number 15, and, and did a pretty solid job on him. Yeah, Rhett, good day with the six assists today, Coach, along with 13 points. We saw that energy and the and the poise he had at Pittsburgh, and, and he had a solid game today as well. Yeah, very pleased with Rhett. I think he's playing well. He's He really he really responded after the Moorhead game. I think he was really disappointed in his play, and, you know, he's been very focused every day, whether it be in practice or in the, the last two ball games. He's just had a really good mindset, and that's, that's good to see at this time of the year. So, you know, we got to put this one behind us pretty quick, Gary. Uh, yeah. It's New Year's, but but we got we got some real preparation to do the next couple of days. Playing a really good East Tennessee State team to open up conference play. Uh, it's here at home. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we know you know the, the, the league has really got good teams in it. It's it's very balanced league I think this year. So you know everybody's gonna gonna bring it and it's gonna they're gonna be some really good ball games and. This should be a real good one on Saturday. Coach, you're right. You're talking about the mindset. Obviously, it changes going from a non-conference Mars Hill to a bunch of Buccaneers from East Tennessee State who uh, had a really, really solid team last year. And then we have two more conference games, three in a row conference games. And that's got to be a good feeling here. Well, it is, especially if you win them. So, <laughs> you know, we, uh, you know we, got a, we, we got a chance to get off to a good start in league play. And hopefully we can take advantage of it. You know, we're going to try. So we're going to give it a... Give it a good go. Hey, Coach, 5-0 and at home this year, and hopefully uh, that trend will continue coming on Saturday at 2 o'clock with East Tennessee State. Yeah, want to wish everybody a, a very happy new year. It's going to be an exciting uh, January and February, March, and, uh, you know, we're going to be right in the thick of it. I, I feel good about where we are, and I think we've made a lot of progress since the season started, and we're anxious to get conference play underway and really see what it's all about. All right, thanks, Coach, and uh, congratulations on a big win okay, today. thank you.